Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play Space Quest 4. This is the first Space Quest game that had 256 color graphics and also a year after its release they released a CD-ROM version. So it was the first CD-ROM version which had a full voice pa uh, pack. So it was the first Space Quest game that had uh, speech in it uh, or full speech. Um, and I think, I think I have to do this. I think it's uh, definitely one of the best ones. It's also the last Space Quest game to be made by both of the two guys from Andromeda. What about the others? The others were made by either just one of them and someone else, or maybe either of them. How come after this one they didn't work together? Uh, I think they, they started working for different companies. Here we go with Roland MT-32 emulated sound, an intro to Space Quest 4, Space Quest 4! Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers! Of course, I don't have to do my Gary Owens impression because Gary Owens is here to do his voice. He's actually doing the voice himself as the narrator. Much better than I would be able to do. <laughs> yeah, Scott Murphy and Mark Crow is the last time they, they did a Space Quest game together. The next one was just Mark Crow and Josh Mandel, and the last one was uh, Scott Murphy and Josh Mandel. We rejoin our friend and semi-hero Roger Wilco as he rockets back toward his home planet Xenon, which he hasn't seen since Space Quest 2. Having successfully rescued those two ingrates from Andromeda, he decides a pit stop on Magmetheus is in order. During the descent to this cosmic canteen, he is unaware of the interest that has been generated regarding his fate. Magnemetheus. Subject. Roger will go, Space Guy. We have confirmation of his position, Master. Off to Magnetheus with you then. It is time for Wilco to meet the fates which I have crafted for him. Find out who that is in a bit. As our story begins, we find the aluminum mallard parked outside a seedy spaceport bar. <laughs> Melted in his own vomit. We join Roger as he relates one of his greatly exaggerated tales of adventure. The aliens are only too happy to listen, as long as Roger is fine. See, there is this deadly root monster, a ferocious swamp creature, and a Labion terror beast to contend with. Then I had to outsmart another of Bohol's gorillas and steal the shuttle so I could penetrate the asteroid fortress and pull the plug on that corpulent creep. Are you Roger Wilco? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Please come with me. Die. 
It's been nice seeing you one last time. Then, do the dirty deed. You go left and split them up. Mr. Wilco, follow me and do exactly as I say. Let's move! <laughs> hey, I want to know what the... Listen, I can't explain it all to you now. They've got a beat on our coordinates. We've got to move fast. We gotta do this fast. Shield your eyes. Jump into the time rip. Do it now. You've got to. If I take the time to explain, we're both parking lot pizza. You'll understand soon. That sounds like comment. <laughs> You see on the title it says, Space Quest 4, Roger Wilco and the Time Rippers. That's the title of this game. But watch that title change. Now it says, Space Quest 12, Vohal's Revenge 2. So we travel to the future into Space Quest 12. Now where am I? You wonder aloud to non-existent auditory organs? This place sure looks homey. Hey, wait. This looks just like Xenon. It is Xenon. It's... it's... it's really a pile. Along with the changes induced by an armed conflict, the city looks different. More modern with a heavy dash of post-disaster seasoning. Casually glancing at the status line, you happen to notice that you're in Space Quest 12. <laughs> What's happened? Who was that guy with the overdeveloped hair dryer? We travel to Why the future. Why did you let yourself be talked into jumping into some strange, shimmering hole? Why are you talking to yourself? These incredibly intriguing questions will quickly be forgotten with barely an electron stirred in that well-armored orb atop your shoulders. Okay, if you notice, the graphics are a lot better from the last game. And it's a point and click. And it's a point and click. They got rid of the parser interface and put it point and click. And look, it's the Energizer Bunny. A brightly colored mechanical hair wanders about. That's The reason it looks better is because they now it, it supports 256 <coughs> colors. The older games were only 16 colors, so it looks a lot more vibrant. The large structure in the background captures your curiosity. From then on, from this point on, all games were point and click. See if we can grab the hair, anticipating your clumsy attempt to catch it in the open, barehanded, won't come anywhere near you. You'd better not. Something might answer. And if you look up here. They have this question mark to let you know, because since this was still pretty new, this interface, to let you know what each thing did, so... This icon is for walking. You can click each of these and, and see what it's for. This one has also... This icon is for tasting. Tasting things. Taste the ground! This icon is for smelling. Okay, let's taste the ground. You lick a thick smear of filth off the street. Finding the taste unpleasant, you quickly swallow it. What a smart person you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Good job, Smith. We can smell things. You too. inhale deeply and detect the aroma of very old traffic. And here's one of my favorites. This is what I say all the time. It's you! Roger Wilco! Space Guy! <laughs> Space Guy! <laughs> ah, the aroma of several adventure games emanates from your person. <laughs> All right, so what do you think we should do, guys? A twisted and broken expanse of cityscape well, stretches bad. south from here, negating possible travel there plans in that direction. It, is, it looks like there's an alien. I like the, the... Taste him! You talk to yourself. No, talk to You'd him. better not. Something might answer. I guess he can't. I want to taste him. I'll wait till he comes back. 
that tongue. Here he comes. Oh, he's on the other side. You don't have time for that now. Oh, come on. We you don't have time. Out. You don't have time. So which way should we go? Ooh, maybe you should check your backpack just in case. Oh, no, good idea. You got some money. Fifty-nine buckazoids. Okay, so where should we go? Well, it looks like. Who's this? This is the only form of actual life that you've seen here. Its clothes are tattered, and a grotesque metal contraption is clamped to its head, which serves to hold the eyelids permanently open. Oh. It's like that thing in a clockwork orange. <laughs> oh, that's a bit scary, huh? Uh oh. He alerted a big robot to us. Alright. That was all your presents, folks, to happen. We're glad you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pet load. Okay, so I guess we should avoid Are that. Are you guy. sure you want to restart? Of course I'm sure. Why else would I have chosen it? Or change my mind, let's play. Well, we have no choice because I didn't save, so we got to start from the beginning. But fortunately, we didn't do much. All right, so where should we go, guys? Up there, quick. Up ahead? No. It looks like there's an alley up there. Alright, I'll head towards that. There's an alley up that man. Okay, we'll go over there. Oh, it's another one of those dudes. The fish is so get cute. Get away, get away. He it looks like a surface suited for foot travel. A featureless, dirty, white structure fills space to the east. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Don't like that guy? <laughs> Those guys are creepy. <laughs> a battered and boarded storefront shows the wear and tear a little war can inflict. Run away! Run away! Uh oh. <laughs> no! Don't kill me! Don't kill me, please! Did you get, did you beat this level at all? I beat, this, I beat this a very long time. This is going to be almost like a blind Let's Play because this was years ago when I beat this game. I remember We're glad something. you could play Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pet load. Thank you. I'm <laughs> poop. Are you sure you want to restart? Okay, let's that go. would be poop. Mm -hmm. Oh, then no thank you. <laughs> Like it's like a, it's poop. it's like diarrhea in your pants. A pant load. Ew. It's loaded. Your pants are loaded with diarrhea. Ew. <laughs> you didn't have to tell me that. Hey, look! It's the Lance. A quick inspection Star Wars. reveals nothing of interest other than a glove box. A glove box. Shall we? Yes. Let's search this thing like the Tusken Raiders did in Star Wars. They Keep sell. your hands to yourself. What if you? It looks like a genuine pocket pal portable terminal. Ooh. What's a terminal? After taking a quick look around it's to really reassure like yourself that the computer. place is as dead as it looks, you snitch the pocket pal laptop. It's a laptop. Maybe you can drive it. Anything else here we can taste it. The glove box is empty. Okay, let's taste it. It needs salt. <laughs> The interior of the air car sports many broken gauges and instruments, as well as a glove box. Keep your hands to yourself. Oh my God. This is nothing else you there. can't do that. Can I hot wire this thing? Keep your hands. How does it smell? It's probably the most nauseating thing to smell in the whole family of smells. Oh. I actually would rather smell it than taste it. 
You can't do that. A quick inspection reveals nothing of interest. A quick inspection reveals nothing of interest other than a glove box. Too bad you don't have a lightsaber. The rubble is too heavy. Take a piece of broken glass. Sometimes that's it. A quick inspect. Yeah. A quick ins. Just, just the glove box. Okay, I get the point. This sealed, battered building is the last one standing in the southwestern area. Sealed building. Let's look at this laptop here. Go on, girls, go games. Okay, it looks like something's supposed to plug in there. This is just a dumb turn. It girls won't do go anything games on by the itself. You're really fun. Should you need? So it's it's not really a laptop. It's just a terminal. It's like a little thing that you hook up to a computer and then you can use it. So we're gonna need to hook it up to something. This little guy keeps walking. The hare, anticipating your clumsy attempt to catch it in the open barehanded, won't come anywhere near you. Have you seen it? Maybe it'll tell you how to get past them. Take a look through there. Maybe you can find something. I know we need it for at least one puzzle. I don't know about any others. There could be hints though. What is this thing? The structural warpage and the enormous gaping hole indicate a violent end for this corroding battle machine. Okay. There's a hole in it. What's this? Surprisingly, no one has taken this small, innocuous-looking piece of unstable ordnance. Unstable ordnance. This is the interior of a battle-scarred tank. A piece of un... Surprisingly, this is the interior of a battle-scarred tank. A piece of unstable ordnance rests in the corner. Unstable ordnance. Should we take that? It's unstable. Okay, you now have the unstable ordnance. Remember... It was your idea. Maybe that was a bad idea. <laughs> Let's look at it. Why is that bad? A piece of unstable ordnance. Because it's unstable. I don't know exactly what that means. Oh, but... I see something. It might not help us, but I do see something. Don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. All right. Um... I wonder if this is going to help. It's up here. Actually, can we go in here? Is this an alleyway? You are at the left edge of this area. More debris chokes off the west. Right, let's go over here. Yeah, I think the last time I, I beat this game was like 1994, maybe. 1993. So, that was a long time ago. I wonder why those... Uh-oh. Stay away. Get away from me. Get away. Why are they like that? I don't know. It's not a good place to be right The now. old Bank of Xenon building held up fairly well. Too bad. They turned Roger down for a loan once. So this is Xenon's home. This is his home. Forget plan. it. The doors and windows have been sealed with welded steel plating. So something really bad happened in between. A hazardous accumulation of unstructured structures blocks safe passage to the north. Something really bad must have happened between Space Quest 4 and Space Quest 12 to turn Xenon into this. Do you know? No. Well, maybe we'll find out. There's that big structure. The large structure in the background captures your curiosity. If you go in that, I have a feeling you're dead. I have a feeling that there's gonna be Wait, more of those creepy dudes. The rubble is rough and jagged. No sense in risking injury this early in the adventure. So we can't we'll get, get to that <laughs> later. We can't get past this rubble. Maybe we can eat it. It doesn't taste half bad, considering what it smells like. <laughs> I wonder what it smells like. It smells like the remains of a flourishing civilization blasted to smithereens by an evil entity of immense power. <laughs> so it smells bad, I guess. Let's sum that up. So we gotta figure our way past that rubble. We can't climb over it. Alright. Yep, you're almost dead. Almost dead? Why? 
I wonder real, if the bunny That's when it. all the real people showed up. Let's see. Let's go over here. We didn't oh we didn't really explore that that other alleyway that you were talking about. Because you died so fast. Let's make Roger walk a little faster. This is a little ridiculous. Wait, doesn't that speed up the game? Yeah, it actually does. Let me turn it down a little bit. I don't want it that fast. Turn it down. So, if you don't want it that fast, don't do it. This grate has crud, gunk, and sludge built up around the edges. This you can see through the grate, but can't make anything out. This definitely sticks out here. Let's, let's look in here. That is so obvious. Uh-oh. Not go in there. Ew, his arm fell off. I would think that something Putting identifiable as like... unstable ordnance uh, would be low ew, on your list of fun and healthy things to carry. Off, uh, oh, we hope you'll get yourself together and rejoin us. Isn't this a blast? So he, he said he said that um, the unstable ordinance was. Are you sure you want to restart? He said the unstable ordinance wasn't a good idea to take, so let's avoid taking the unstable ordinance. Why? Because that's what blew up when we went in there. Because it was unstable. Oh, I thought there was a dragon. <laughs> so, um... What is it? We'll not take the unstable ordinance, which is in that tank there. You better find that grate fast. So, yeah, we'll get to that grate, but I want to get that... That terminal that we got from Is there trip. a lot of scariness in this? Not really. I think that's the only scary part, really. Like, I remember that part being scary. After taking a quick look around to reassure yourself that the place is as dead as it looks, you snitched the Pocket Pal laptop. But the, um, the rest of the game, I don't remember really anything scary. I remember playing this with Dave when he was young. Who? My cousin Dave, and he was young. He was like maybe seven, six or seven. He got really, he got really scared at that part. I was, I was probably 11, 11 or 12. Uh, maybe, yeah, I was probably older than 11. I was probably 12 or 13, maybe. All right, let's get to that grade. Now that we don't have the unstable ordinance, we should be able to go down there. As long as that guy leaves. Looks like he's walking away. Touch that fast. That's the noise he makes. Alright, let's go. You're gonna have to. That, that creepy guy. Alright, here we are. Now where are we? You've reached the sewer maintenance office. Apparently this office has been long abandoned. Look, so Your janitorial cool. instincts urge you to sweep up and do a little dusting. But you suppress those urges and concentrate on the task at hand. There's... The strange little pedestal has wires running between it and the wall. There's something on the table. It's an empty jar with a lid, neither of which does anything entertaining. There's a jar that might come in handy. Take that. You take the jar into custody. <laughs> into custody. All right. What about What's this? Exactly? It's just an average old-fashioned desk blotter. Desk blotter? Where do you take it? Ah, a button. Perhaps <laughs> I'll give it a press. I love buttons. A nice shiny red candy-like button. Data entry 22795. This message is to whomever may be so fortunate as to find it. I am Professor Lloyd, lead designer of the Xenon Supercomputer Project, the ultimate in artificial intelligence. The computer was designed to enhance our lives, but instead ended up being the ruin of us all. We made the mistake of tying it into the most important facets of our existence here on Xenon, including our weather control and defense systems. It seemed like a sound idea at the time, and all proceeded well for about three years. 
was around then that a deep space salvage operation recovered what appeared to be some sort of antiquated data storage unit contained in a flimsy cardboard box on which the words Leisure Suit Larry were imprinted. Uh -huh. On its back was the picture of a not particularly wholesome gentleman, but that's another story. My counterparts exhibited shameful behavior as they tore open the box to get at its contents. I could not understand the commotion it generated. The data was uploaded into the supercomputer for analysis. As a result, a crippling virus spread through the machine like a bad social <laughs> disease. All control of the computer was lost. All screens went blank. Then these words were displayed by the monitors and uttered by the vocal outputs. Wilco must pay. From that day forth, the possessed computer waged war on the inhabitants of Xenon, using our own weapons against us. Some managed to escape to other planets. Those of us who remained stayed to fight the machines and robots under its control. It was a bloody war. Those of us that were not killed were taken captive and modified. These cyborgs infiltrated the loyal ranks of resistance, rooting out almost all of our hiding places and exposing us to the mechanical menace. Some of these poor souls still wander the streets. Oh, that's what those As guys are. As of this are. recording, we are down to only a handful of rebels. My health is deteriorating rapidly. To make matters worse, I've just learned that the computer has unraveled the mysteries of time travel. I've sent my two best men to attempt to steal this oh. new technology. If you are not a machine, then perhaps they were successful. Please realize, you are Xenon's last hope. Okay, so you gonna see what happened, guys? You pay attention? No, I was looking that it said avoid the side. Well, avoid. basically, to summarize what happened, um, this guy... This guy just told us that Xenon, back in the past, had a huge supercomputer that controlled everything. The weather, uh, every, basically every aspect of the planet. And then they went and they installed Leisure Suit Larry on it. Leisure Suit Larry is another Sierra game. It's one, it's one of the adult Sierra games. They installed it on it, but there was a virus on it. And the virus said, Wilco must pay. And um, it turned a whole bunch of people into those mindless zombies. And it ruined the whole planet, destroyed the whole planet. He, and this guy was like one of the last normal people left. And he sent time travelers back in time to find someone to, to fix this problem. And uh, and he said, if you're here and you're not a machine, then you're our last hope. So, so that's why I'm here right now. Um, and it doesn't avoid the cyborgs. I was just flipping through the thing. Yeah, the that was the cyborg. Those are the cyborgs that are on the surface. So okay, does he say anything so else? So avoid them. Everybody hear that? Nothing oh. happens. All right, let's see what's, what's this thing. It's very pleasant looking. Looking. A variety of pipes, coolant, and otherwise pass in, through, and around the room. Maybe you can go over there. You notice the shadow cast on the wall yeah. by the inaccessible grate above. Inaccessible? Keep out. your hands to yourself. Yeah, just go. go Nothing you can do to it here will be of benefit. Go in back of you, maybe. Oh, just looks weird. This looks weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. The next page is the uh, the rest of it. Let's see. It's very I pleasant think. looking. I think this is a door. If I'm mistaken. There we go. All right. You peer into the darker area beyond the hatch frame, and see nothing particularly revolting. Pancakes? Seriously? Universal hut. Of pancakes. <laughs> yeah, they, it's a it's a space piston magazine. It like advertises different things. So let me let me save this here. Um, we're in the sewer, and we will journey deep into this dark dark hatch here and see what we can find. Oh no! The door has shut, and there's no way back. What are you going to do now? You don't need to look at that. Oh! 
there's a small vent set into the side of the sewer tunnel. Unfortunately, it looks way too narrow for a space janitor, not even a skinny one, to squeeze inside. You can't quite reach the vent. The pipes running along the sides of this conduit are coated in inert slime. <laughs> All right. That's enough, Samantha. But it's annoyingly fun. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. All right, and now we are in more. What is this? Slime? You see some dripping, oozing stuff. Want to lick it? No. Oh, no. Even if I say first? Fine, you can say first, then lick it. Okay. We'll call it ooze. Ooze. Let's smell it before we lick it. It smells just like you thought it would. Okay. Lick. You don't really want to do that. <laughs> I guess because it would. You can't quite reach the vent. Okay. No. Don't follow me. Which way, down or left? What? Well, you would have to go down. You think oh. so? Don't follow me. I thought that me. that was. Uh -oh. That's not good. A blob of slime has gained an attraction for you. Is the green, viscous, congealed wad of vile helper bent on your destruction? Or is it just a friendly puddle of scum looking for a new friend? Dare you find out? Let's taste it. You taste a tiny bit of the green slime. Instantly, several recent fillings dissolve into a puddle of silver amalgam. That's not good. That thing must be really corrosive. Ah, the aroma of several adventure games. Not you, what this... were you expecting? Lime slime? You notice a burning sensation when you get a strong whiff. <laughs> Let's talk to it. You talk to yourself. Not... You talk to yourself. Not you should... Oh. As the green slime dissolves the flesh from your bones, you think, hey, this stuff consumes 47 times its weight in acid. <laughs> slime food, cream of Roger. All right, uh, so let's avoid the ooze. Uh, don't stop. So don't follow me. You want to go this way? See if it's this way. Slime, don't follow me. <laughs> you go to the old way. Another vent. You can't quite reach the vent. Gosh, we have to go through the vent thing again. I can't reach it, so I guess not. Yeah, don't, I mean, like, don't the stop slime to look like out. Really, don't stop at all. Don't stop at all, just keep walking. Uh oh. Told ya. The ooze is back. Told ya. Just don't. What? I can't don't watch. Stop. Don't stop to drink. Don't stop to drink. Okay. Well, we got away from it. There's that ship we saw earlier. <laughs> Sleep patrol transport occupies the area presently. I am an innocent person. So you think we could take that ship? If Don't you can do anything with the ship, you certainly can't do it from here. You, if you get out, they're gonna kill you. Huh? I did nothing. I did nothing. I did nothing to hurt you. 
Oh, let's see if we can uh, steal that ship from them. Ladder Wilco, you will always be remembered in uh -oh. our memories. Just got shot. I did nothing to We're glad you could play you Space Quest 4. As usual, you've been a real pet load. Oh boy. Okay, let's uh. <coughs> like I said, I don't want to die alive. I don't want to die alive. Let's try down here again. I don't want to die alive. I want to die when I'm dead. <laughs> Stop to do anything, just keep on going. Sideways, quick. You'd better not, something might answer. There is no reply. Mm -hmm. I he doesn't talk. I don't want you to go. Why'd you kill me? Why'd you kill me? I did nothing to kill you, so you couldn't, you shouldn't kill me. I didn't want to die alive. I wanted to die, but I was well, dead. Why do you think the sequel police are shooting us? Because, because we're dead. No, because they're after us. No, because we're dead. You can't quite we reach the bed. We want to die when we're dead. We want to die when we're dead. We want to die when we're dead. What's weird? How would they find you from there? Now he's going the other way. Oh, now he's coming back. Oh, you should so look at his map more often. <laughs> Don't you want to die when you're dead so you won't feel the pain? Well, once you're dead, you're, you can't die again. You can only die once. Yeah, so when you're dead, you'll die once. You can't quite reach the vent. Oh no, you're dead. Absolutely, positively dead. What makes you say that? Vent. Hasn't come out of the vent yet. Because you have to pass first. Okay. So I guess this is the only place to go, is up this ladder here. So don't get out until... Jake, there's gonna be people everywhere. There's gonna be people everywhere. I wanna die when I'm dead. Wait, cause I'm gonna land again. Spacey space flare. Why does it look like a cowboy's hat? Um, it has a nice wide brim. And the top looks like a cowboy's hat. Oh, you're talking about the ship? Uh huh. It does look a little bit. Let's look at these guys. It's very pleasant looking. You don't need to look at that. Okay. All right, let's get out. I wonder if you could use this. Okay, guys, we're getting ready to eat. Okay. Save here. I am thing two, so I was born second. And we will steal that ship right when now. When we did. I'm gonna die when I'm dead. I have a new song. <laughs> 